Hello, Gary Calger here again, out here in the workshop with the magnetic loop antenna here. I uh, got done there. I showed one video online there, uh, how well it was working and everything, and uh, uh, the uh, aspects of it there. As you can see, the upper side up here is the uh, main loop right there. It's just like a big transformer, what it's like. Then you got your driven elements down here. So anyhow, uh, people was asked me about this tuner here on it. And I'll give you a little closer look to up there. Everybody was asking about that tuner right there. This tuner here and how well it worked. Well, I'm going to show you something here now. I'm achieving a uh, the full output of the radio. You see that meter swing? And I am getting almost, well, about three watts out of the thing. And that's one of these little cheap radios here. But I am getting three watts out of it. But it, the, uh, as you can see, the SWR is darn near nothing. Now, I'm going to show you how I achieved this. And uh, we'll zoom this thing down to the bench down here. Get it down here. Now, that was on 15 meters. It does that from 15 meters all the way up to uh, 30 meters. And this is the little piece here that makes the difference right here all this is is like a giant size trimmer cap but i oversized it i oversized it now i'm going to show you the components of this and how it's made it's very simple to make. Very, very simple to make. And the reason why I laminate and use two pieces of uh, of uh, flex sand there, or you can use uh, plexiglass. But I'm going to show you how this simple this thing's made. I'm going to take this apart here. And I made this dial myself. Now this dial on here, you can print them out online, that face on it there. Now what I've done, I took a piece of uh, flex sand or plexiglass, cut me out a two inch circle, put the uh, vernier there on it. Uh, I think my light went out. There we go, we got light out now. But anyhow, uh, I put that on her, but the thing is, the wood, I took inside the wood here, you can see it, I got a nut on in there, and it's a lock nut with Nurlock on it there. The reason why being to keep this knob steady, because you got to have this knob pretty steady. Now, like I said, it's like a giant size trimmer capacitor. That's all it is, like that. And what I've done, I, uh, I'll show you the properties of it here. Is everything operating here right? You can make this in about four or five hours. Depending on your tools. Now I got had band saws and you know what have you and stuff like that. I got you know more tools than any little boy should have to uh, tinker with stuff. Because I also I also uh, make fiddles and banjos and stuff like that. But 
go we'll take and get this all apart. I won't have to take the other long screw out, but this one I do. All right. The flap. The flap is just a piece of aluminum. And yes, I did put tape on the back of it. Uh, back here. And I'll tell you the type of tape I used. I used this high strength uh, backing tape. And it, it's a uh, latex base there. But I made that. And I put, as you can see, you can see the line there. The uh, tape on that. That way it keeps it from shorting out. Then on this side, I put a plate on here, a lumen plate. Laminate on there with contact glue. Works really well. I bent that on a slight angle back there so this will flap up and down on there. You got to have that. Now this piece here, this is a lumen tape. Right here. You could buy lumen tape at the hardware store, or you could take and get it at Napa, Advanced Auto, any places like that. Then these screws right here are just 632 screws in it. You got to make sure that they make good contact on that tape, or it won't work. Now, here I relieved it because I don't want this shorting out on none of this because this is where that knob goes on there. I don't need none of that uh, hand capacitance going to it. The uh, top over here, I put the uh, tape on there, brought around two sides there, and flap go around the inside and outside. Matter of fact, you'll see there where I open it up there. You can see where that tape goes together on there. And it's got to go on the backside too for the screw to make good contact. Like I said, if you don't have that, it will not work. Now, we're going to put it all back together. I also recessed into the, this first plate back here, the uh, plexiglass or uh, flex sand, whatever you want to use. And uh, recessed that back in there so there wouldn't be nothing sticking up when you put it against your pole or anything. But the reason why these screws are long on here is so your tubing, you can drill through your tubing where it's split in half here, but drill through that tubing and you can mount them on there like that. That's the reason why I left them screws long. But this, put it back together. There goes my light out again. Sometimes that light's like me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll put this back together. Like I said, it's very easily built. There's no uh, problem to do it. If, you, uh, if you're mechanically inclined, you can have no problem with it. If you're not, oh well. But you can still learn how to make these uh, here. They're easy to make. That light keeps blinking on and off. I think I'm at uh, Joe's Bar and Grill. i get my screws started back on there because I took and ground them off. There we go. But uh, these kind of uh, tuners are very easily built. And they will cover the whole cotton picking bands. Uh, these kind here. But I'm going to show you after I get this put back together what you can achieve with one of these. Well, I'll tell you what now. I'm having a hard time. There we go. I 
I want to line that back up. Lighten them up. Should take put a sign on that light much as going off there. Eat at Joe's. Put this screw back on. This is your contact screw here, the long one. Always leave them long so I'm drilling into the tubing. I had no problem with them. But like I said, you can make all this in uh, one one afternoon. Get this over here where you can see it there. If you make a lot of your loop antennas, you want to keep all this stuff the same size. Okay, got that. Put this back on. You don't want these uh, knobs real loose on here, I'm telling you, because if they're flopping around like that, you have a hard time tuning. Believe me, I've trial and error, I've found out. But there it is. With it. Now, let's go, let's go to, uh, I'm on 15 meters, let's go to uh, 20 meters here. Turn up the volume a little bit. Now, you'll hear a difference. I'm going to put the microphone up here by the, get it up here. You'll hear a difference when it starts tuning right. Right there, 20 meters. Now, once you look at the SWR, if we can get it down here, okay. camera mount does not want to cooperate sometimes.
Way under. Way under. 1.5. Way under 1.5. And like I said, very easy to tune. That's all there is to it. The next series, I'll show you how to make this little, uh, get my finger over here, everything backwards in camera. Uh, make this uh, field strength meter. Well, if you get that to peak, you ain't got to look at your SWR because once that thing peaks, you know, you're putting out everything that the radio is going to put out. So this is KV8UGP Gary in Enterprise, West Virginia, showing you how to make the oversized trimmer cap, but works very well. It I uh, tested it, and it goes from 14 picofarads to 240 picofarads. So like I said, easy to make. You can make it yourself. There you go. Bye-bye, y'all. God bless.